Okay, I wanted to do a quick video today. Um, one of the questions I've gotten on some blog post or video posts in particular, they're like, what is, what is, what is this? And I've got them, I've got a few of them. They're called rotary cutters. Fist Green is one of the brands that makes them. I don't know what brand this is. Um, and basically what they do is they allow you to cut on a mat. These are self-healing cutting mats. You can buy them at the store or on Amazon. I'll try to link one in the comments. This is a fairly large one. The larger, the better. That's my opinion because I am often cutting out pieces of clothing. Now, if you are a quilter and quilts are all you do, those small ones make a lot of sense, but I mostly cut out big things. So I don't need, yeah, I don't need it. Or need a small one. I want to always have a big one. I have a setup right now, um, a pretty large cable. Um, you've probably seen it on my blog. I think I have a video about it, but this is basically a photo backdrop that I did. And I place this on top of it. And when I want to take photos, I can remove the cutting mat. It just comes right off. And I put it away so I can take pictures on the pretty backdrop. <laughs> this, this mostly remains piled with things though, because if you're familiar and you sew a lot, you probably know sometimes the fabric starts to pile up and the projects start to pile up and then you have surfaces covered. Anyways, this is the piece of my car seat poncho pattern and it's the hood cut and I wanted to show you how this works. So essentially you can buy these rotary cutters and your mat of course and they have a lock, unlock, lock, unlock. Um, I keep my little lock position this one's the same that's out. You push the button and it locks. These are a little bit easier to um, click into place. You have to be very careful with this. I actually cut off part of my finger <laughs> Um, a couple years ago, I was working during my son's nap time when I was first starting to blog and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get something done. My kid never slept and I was not paying attention and I just, I had my finger here and I was holding the paper down and I just snipped and took off a piece of my finger and I didn't notice until I started bleeding. <laughs> it was awesome. Anyways, don't do that. It's not, not ideal. Um, Usually, if you are sewing something like this, it's a good idea to have something called a pattern weight. Just pretty much anything heavy. You can put cans on here. You can make your own pattern weights. I have a few posts about, or I have a post about that on my blog that shows you how to do it. Somebody guest posted. I don't have any pattern weights. I'm going, I keep asking for them for Christmas and no one gets them for me. I don't know. I think my husband's a little intimidated because I put, it's an Etsy shop I used for, for the link. I think he's a little intimidated to order off Etsy. So I got to make my own. It's a work in progress. But anyways, you can use anything. In this case, I'm just grabbing stuff that I have left on here. So what you're going to do is, and again, oh, the other thing is, is these blades do come off. Usually there's a way to pull them off. See the little screw here. I can unscrew it and replace the blades when they get worn. And, um, you know, they do wear out over time. So, oops, this one's, you see this one has a knob at the back too. Whoop, there you go. And they just unscrew. They actually unscrew a little too easy, so you gotta be careful not to, not to accidentally unscrew. So I'm gonna unlock it. And again, I like this one because it's a little harder for my son to figure out. I have three kids, one of them is two. And if you have a two-year-old, you know they like to get in trouble. And he loves to figure out things. All my kids have been very interested in seeing what mommy does. We actually play this fun game where they pretend cut fabric with the pizza cutter from their toy kitchen. It's been a win. Okay, so obviously I'm doing this one hand, it's a little harder. But as you can see, it just cut it right out. Now, sometimes, depending on the fabric, it'll catch a little, so you may have to go back through and do a second round, or just snip like a little thread or something. But usually this does a good job. I think it would do better if I replaced the blades. These are the original blade I really could use to replace it, but I haven't done that yet, and it's fine. But I wanted to show you this, because it is a neat thing to own, and it's really, really helpful if you're doing a lot of cutting. Um, and you don't like using your scissors. I, f I find the rotary cutter much easier to use, but I got one very early on when I was sewing, so I've been using them forever. So, yes, the other thing you can get is one of these rulers. 
these are called like quilting rollers or something. And I use these all the time for cutting out things that are square or have a, a straight edge. It's very easy to just go whoosh right up it. It kind of gives you a little guide to go by. If you've ever used one of those guides that you use for a circular saw as an alternative to like using a traditional table saw, um, it's kind of the same idea. Just you hold it down in place. Ha, huh, we could use clamps here, couldn't we? Um, you don't do that in sewing. But anyways, uh, put this on top of your fabric and you cut a straight line right up using this as a guide. So I hope that was helpful. Kind of a, imp I think these are really nice tools to have. I know some people swear by scissors and don't use any of this, but I find it a lot easier. So I hope that was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. You can check out my car seat poncho that I'm working on right now. I'm redoing it and redoing the pattern. So I will have some additional accessories adding on to the pattern and some new designs if you're interested. And that is a pattern I will probably be selling at some point, but currently the, the regular pattern is free. So alrighty. Thanks so much. Have a great day and yeah, <laughs> happy sewing.